if the whole universe is made of unconscious matter, how come we are conscious? We ought not to be if everything's unconscious. And some philosophers say, well, the brain does all these things physically and consciousness is an epiphenomenon, it doesn't do anything. Others say that consciousness is an illusion produced by the brain. But then their critics point out that doesn't really answer it because illusion is a mode of consciousness. So uh, you're simply explaining consciousness in terms of consciousness. That's why it's called the hard problem. Uh, there's been very little progress in the philosophy of mind about this problem until recently uh, with the development of panpsychism. And panpsychism is primarily fashionable within philosophy of mind, surprisingly fashionable. Um, even though it's very similar to ancient animistic worldviews we're all supposed to have grown out of. Panpsychism was really put forward originally by